Real quick, before we get into today's video, I just wanna thank everyone who watched my last video. I had a lot of fun making it, and a lot of people have watched it, I'm really excited about that, and I've also gotten quite a few new subscribers, so welcome to the channel. Be on the lookout for more videos just like that one. I just filmed one that should be coming out within the week, but for now, I'm gonna get into some Tesla news and some specifics that we've learned about the Model Y. The first bit of news is that my account updated, and I got really excited. It updated and showed my payment information. It showed that I got approved for financing and all that good stuff and it's moving on to the next step which just says we're drafting your contract. So of course I got very excited and felt like my Model Y might be coming soon and then come to find out it's another false alarm. Everyone who has pre-ordered a Model Y got this message including people who ordered the seven seater which we know won't be coming for a while and the rear wheel drive which we assume won't be coming for a while if at all. At least it's another step and I know that I have my payment secured and everything but overall it looks like it doesn't actually mean anything. And on top of that, the financing will expire along with my trade-in. The trade-in's gonna expire after 30 days, so I reached out to Tesla and asked them, is that gonna expire or is that an indication that my car will be delivered before it expires? And they basically said it, it could expire, we don't really know. But the final step that it shows that I still need to do is insurance, and I'm actually gonna try applying for Tesla insurance because I live in California, and usually the rates are pretty good, and you can't actually do that until you get a VIN, and I don't have a VIN. So that's where most people are at if they ordered the all-wheel drive version with the 19-inch Gemini wheels. If you ordered the all-wheel drive with the 20-inch induction wheels or ordered the performance, we've seen deliveries of all of those. Tesla even delivered what I think is the first Model Y to be delivered with the Gemini wheels, and that was to Ryan Wallace. And I believe it's a performance version, so don't get too excited, but it's the first time we've seen those 19-inch wheels. That's definitely a good sign that they're actually producing them with the Gemini wheels, because at first we weren't seeing those, we were only seeing the 21-inch and the 20-inch wheels, and it was like, are they ever going to make one with those wheels that I ordered? And now they're finally doing it. But Tesla's factory is closing on the 23rd for reasons you probably know about. And right now they're cut down to, I think, a quarter of their workforce. And basically they're closing on the 23rd because they have to ramp down production. So as of right now, if your Model Y isn't made before that date, it means that it will at the very earliest be produced after April 7th, which is where they're scheduled to reopen right now. But it's really all dependent on how things turn out with that big thing that's happening in the world right now. I personally think it's gonna be shut down even longer than two weeks, but we'll see what happens. I mean, it would be nice if it reopened, but everyone's gotta be safe. What we do know is that Tesla has started doing contactless deliveries. So they actually do deliveries where you don't actually engage with another person. All the paperwork is there for you to fill out and you finish it on the screen. And then I think there's a few documents you have to finish and you take the key and you're good to go. With certain states, even that is not allowed to continue because it's not an essential business. But for the most part, Tesla is actually still able to deliver cars right now. And I believe they'll be able to keep delivering, but we'll see how exactly that works. I've heard from certain people out in New Jersey who had a delivery scheduled for two days from now or one day from now, and it just got canceled because Tesla can't legally deliver it right now. The other thing that's happening a lot is a lot of people are canceling their orders because the stock market has taken a giant plunge and people are canceling their orders because it's an expensive car and they're not really sure how things are gonna turn out. For people like me who are definitely set on getting the car and didn't have a bunch of money lost in the stock market, uh, I kind of wish I could just get it like tomorrow because then I can make a ton of videos in my own car just in my garage or two blocks away from my house and still stay safe but have some fun with the new car when I actually have a little bit of free time. So that's where deliveries are at. Basically if your car was already made there's a good chance you can probably still get it depending on which state you live in but if the car wasn't made already like I'm assuming mine hasn't been made there's pretty much no chance I'm getting that thing at least for two weeks and probably a month to three months. We'll see how long it goes. But at this point, I've been able to see two Model Ys in person. I saw a blue and a gray one. The gray one in the last video, the blue one will be in a future video that's coming out. And overall, I love the car, I'm super excited about it. You probably saw in that first video how excited I was. And the owner who let me film that car actually sent me a bunch of photos and videos kind of breaking down the whole car. He took apart a bunch of stuff that I would be way too scared to do. So let's get into it. First off is the details about the tow hitch. So there's this panel on the back that looks like a place perfect for a tow hitch. It basically was probably designed for a tow hitch and then something happened and they ended up not deciding to put it in. He opened that up and when you look inside, you can see that there's no hardware 
and there's no cables to actually make towing possible. So if you were to add towing after the fact with this car, it would be a pretty expensive upgrade and it's likely not something Tesla is gonna offer, at least for the ones that are delivering right now. I do hope this is something that Tesla adds because it's a common feature that a lot of people want in their Model Y, but right now it's just not there. So that same owner who is known as RoboRat on the Tesla owners forum, he took apart the frunk of his Model Y. So when you look inside, you can see a bunch of stuff that I honestly don't know much about. But one thing you can see confirmed is that there still is a 12 volt battery. A lot of people were hoping the Model Y wasn't gonna have that 12 volt battery, but it does have it. So the biggest feature that we've noticed that Tesla added in the Model Y that hasn't been in any Tesla before is a heat pump. So again, I don't really know a ton about this, but overall people say that heat pumps are more efficient and they work better in general. There's concern that in really cold climates, they don't actually work very well when you get below freezing but recently developed heat pumps have fixed that issue and we've seen Tesla testing the Model Y out in all these winter climates. So it's very likely that that is not an issue with this heat pump, but we'll wait to see it tested. And then the other thing that is confirmed is that the Model Y does not include Homelink. It's a $300 upgrade if you wanna get it done after the fact, and it's actually a piece of hardware that they have to add in there. And that's pretty annoying if you're someone who ordered it expecting to have that and now you ordered a $60,000 car and you have to add a $300 little piece of hardware in there and software. It just seems like something they could have easily put in the car, but you know, it is what it is. So that's all the updates for this video. As I mentioned, be on the lookout for my next video because I actually drove the Model Y and I'm really excited to put out that video. Again, thanks to everyone who has watched my previous video. I had a lot of fun doing that. And thanks so much to my new subscribers. We'll see how many Model Ys Tesla produced and how many they can continue to deliver over the course of this craziness happening in the world. And in the meantime, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Like this video if you appreciated it. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one.